how to set up shopify impact theme hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you pretty much uh how to set up the impact theme i'm going to show you the different things that it has to offer when it comes to elements and when also when it comes to the uh, different settings when it comes to the theme so obviously the impact theme is not a free theme it's actually a premium one and you're going to have the ability to use it for free completely uh, until you decide to make it public so you're going to be able to use it if it's not public if you want to actually make it public then you would need to actually buy it i believe it's going to be three three hundred and eighty dollars if i'm not mistaken and uh i'm going to today, today show you exactly how it works and show you the different things that it has to offer so to in order to actually use the impact theme you want to go ahead and open up your shopify admin click on online store click on themes uh, and then from here, we are just going to click on the theme library, click on add theme and pretty much just visit the theme store. Just click on visit theme store and look up impact. Now, this is the impact theme and it is $380. So uh, that's the price for it. And again, you can pay only if you want to publish it. You can completely use it and try it out for yourself. Uh, now, uh, to actually try it, you basically just want to click on try theme and this is going to pretty much just apply it to your store and it's going to um, show up on your store theme page uh, and you'll be able to customize. So let's just go in and wait for it to load and show you what to do uh, next. Okay, so now that we have this impact theme, theme trial, just click on customize and let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing, uh, you're going to notice how they have the announcement bar. It's moving. It's not, you know, you're going to have different things. It does also have a pop up here that you can also feel free to show or hide, which I'm, I'm about to do right now. And you can actually see a lot of animations with the impact theme. So as you can see, this um, box here is also animated. As you can see, we have two different slides and it's just basically uh, goes to each one and it shows the timer here and for the announcement but just you know scrolls and stuff and there's a lot when it comes to the impact theme and what it has to offer so let's just go ahead and try to uncover everything but before we actually start with this all of this crazy stuff here uh, what i'm going to do or what i usually do when it's when i start with a new theme is that i actually go ahead and hover over the settings and click on them so just click on theme settings from the left dashboard here uh, this is going to allow us to set up the defaults, you could say, for the theme. And when it comes to the uh, brand colors, when it comes to the text, uh, fonts, all of these things, you can just change them right away before you start adding any uh, sections. So always just go to theme settings first, just click on this, and let's just go and cover what is important here and what is different from, you know, the usual default themes that Shopify has to offer. So right away, if you are only, you know, if you, you only used Shopify's, you know, free themes, then there's plenty of stuff here that you don't really see on the other themes. For example, the first one, we have appearance and spacing here. You can feel free to change the page width and also more uh, spacing options. So if you want to start adding some um, padding and so on, you can feel free to just go ahead and change that. And you can also feel free to, within the same setting, you can change the roundness of different corners. So button corner radius. Let's just try to find a button here if I can find any. Seems okay. So we have this button. So we can actually go ahead and make it more round uh, by just increasing this. And this is going to make it more round if you want to. But again, you can increase that or decrease that. If you increase it, it's going to be more cir circular. And if you decrease it, it's going to be more square-ish. So again, this is going to also have other things as well, like, you know, different radiuses that you can play around with and so on. We also have different shadow options and color options. And when it comes to the button styles and stuff, all of this is going to be included within the appearance and spacing. So just go and make sure you walk through it step by step and see which one you want to adjust to your liking and do it. Next, we have colors, and this is not going to be the same as the colors with Let's say Dawn theme. Dawn theme runs on the, uh, you could say, types of, no, it's called, it's called I believe, um, basically you're going to have different uh, colors. So let's say color one, two, three, four, and then you basically adjust them accordingly and then you apply them to each section. But in this case, it's pretty much, you know, for all of them, as you can see. 
So if you change the background, it's going to be pretty much just, you know, change the, ba the background for, for the entire store, unless you go to a specific section and change it from there. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to apply a specific color for the entire store instead of having to go through it one by one. So as you can see, I just made this gray and it's just going to take a second and the entire site is actually going to be gray. Uh, but if it were Dawn theme, you would want to actually go ahead and add a... I'm not even going to talk about that right now, so let's just going to continue. So again, you can feel free to change the text color, the success color, basically, you know, uh, a success message, uh, warning, and an error color, so green, yellow, red. Ch change the header option, so this is going to be this header over here, but now it's transparent because the image is pretty much taking place, but if you want it to be uh, white or a specific color, you can feel free to change it from here. Uh, same goes for the text for the actual header. This is not going to be, uh, you know, normal text. We have also the footer, same, th same thing goes here. And we also have different colors for primary button, secondary button, style, and so on. So just go in and again, just change the colors to your liking. Next one is going to be pretty much for the fonts and stuff. So this is going to be how, you know, how you want your fonts to look like for the body text, for the heading text, and so on. And we also have more things here, which I'm not really going to go. I believe everything is here is social media. Obviously, you can feel free to add your socials and then you can add it to your header or even footer if you want to. So if you want to do that, just add them in here. And uh, you can also feel free to change the product cards. And there is plenty. I don't really want to waste too much time on here. So let's just go ahead and move on from the actual settings, which again, it's very important to look through everything which i didn't do because time wise it's not going to be good uh, but once you're done you just basically want to go to settings and you want to start with the pages that they have and start adjusting them to your liking so starting from the home page but if you want to do the uh, you know do another page you can just filter from here just go to any other page from the top and do the same thing now here within the template section, or I believe it's proper to start with the header instead. So let's just click on the header and click on the header one more time here. This is going to allow us to add our logo. So instead of my store, we can actually go ahead and add our own logo. And to do so, you want to scroll down until you find logo image right over here. Click on select. And you want to click on upload and then obviously upload your logo, which I'm going to upload this one. It's not really our logo, but I'm just going to use it as if it was. Click on done. I just give it a second and it's going to replace this uh, right away. Uh, and not only that, but you can also feel free to change many other things. Weird how it didn't actually change. So let me see about this real quick. Okay, there you go. So you actually need to also change it from here. So both. Uh, need to be put like that and you can even feel free to change the size for it uh, and again there's a lot of options when it comes to the actual header so you can feel free to change the main menu if you want to uh, but obviously you would want to create a menu outside of the theme in order to place it in here if you want to replace them and you have plenty of options here if you want to make it you know a um, this is a transparent header but you can also feel free to make it a colored header which is the normal one it's also up to you. It's completely up to you. Same goes for the announcement bar. And for the announcement bar, you can just click on it and you're going to find different things. For example, the change messages every how many seconds you want it to be, the text for the actual announcements, and also the scrolling speed, uh, which is, you know, how fast it scrolls. So you can also feel free to change the background for them. And if you want it to be a gradient, you can feel free to do so. But to actually add announcements, it's not going to be within here. You want to exit out of here. And you basically want to do it for the rest of the sections when you know you can actually add stuff to it. You want to basically click on the arrow next to it. And this is going to show you the elements within. So for example, if it was a slideshow, it's going to be the same way to add new slides. It's pretty much the same. You basically click on add message right underneath here. Just go beneath uh, announcement bar and you will find add message. If you click on that, it's going to pretty much add a new one. And if you click on it itself, you can feel free to change the text and also the link to something. So sale on product or sale. Let's just do sale here. I'm not really sure what I want to go with. 
Uh, and if you click on link, you can link it to a specific product if you want to. And now people can actually click on that and it's going to take them there. The same goes for the rest of the messages. You can add um, more messages if you want to. But I'm just going to go ahead and remove that and just keep them as, it, as they are. So when it comes to the actual sections for the template, uh, you can actually see they have slideshows like this one. And it's actually pretty cool because it does have these uh, indicators here at the bottom right of them to show you how long you have before the next slide shows up. And if you want to add more slide slides to the actual slideshow, uh, it's pretty much just like the announcement bar. Like I said, just click on add block and this is going to add the image or video slides. And if you click on that, it's going to show you the different things that you can change. For example, the image and also the content for each one of them. So let's see uh, now that because, you know, we actually did a lot of time here. Let's just see uh, the different sections that they have to offer. So if you click on add section within the template, uh, you're going to find all of these different sections. So future collection, future product uh, cl uh, collection list. These are, you know, some of the defaults here. But if you just scroll down a little bit, you're going to find the, it's, you know, the unique slideshow that the impact theme has to offer uh, video section so you can add a video section in here accordion uh, content which is very nice for uh, FAQs type of deal I believe they have it in here if I'm not mistaken uh, let's just see a real quick okay I'm not sure if they have one right now I'm just going to add one real quick. Uh, just Oh, there you go. This is an accordion. Uh, if you just click on that, this is pretty much the accordion. And you can actually go in and click on this and go going to show you more uh, information about it. So this is going to work well for FAQs. Uh, so this is also an, uh, an option. And we can also see more things here before and after images. You can feel free to add that. Contact forms, custom HTML, uh, and also more things here. Even FAQ, which is different than the accordion, which I'm surprised that it is. Anyways, it's pretty much the same thing. It does just, you know, have different, I believe, design aspects. Uh, and we can see different things like images with link blocks and image with text overlay, which is cool. It's more like the banner image from the Dawn theme, but it's more stylish and then we also have more things like images and text scrolling so uh, if you click on show more there's also more here i believe so yeah impact text logo list media grid media with text as you can see there's plenty that you can even add and there's show more uh, that you can feel free to add so as you can see the impact theme is filled with content that you can actually add and adjust uh, so that's your store is going to be looking better than ever so uh, again, this is going to be uh, for you to decide whether it's going to be worth it or not. Uh, I really recommend that you just go ahead and jump, jump into your Shopify store and go ahead and sh look up Impact and try it for yourself because again, it is going to be completely for free if you want to try it out, but you're going to only pay if you want to actually publish it. So go ahead and try it out, see if you like it or not. And who knows, maybe it's going to be the best theme that you ever try. With that being said, hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching.